Um, so Jesse, his family, you know, Jesse, the day it hit Jesse, uh, his family was on their farm. The Civil War had just started. Um, Frank James, Jesse's older brother, was off. He, he joined the Confederacy. Right. I kind of was- <laughs> compare it to the movie Red Dawn. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. They had to take action and they had to go out and, yeah, play by their own rules. It, it, it's a lot different from outlaws like, say, Billy the Kid. Billy right. the Kid wasn't known to do that. He just rode around and everybody knew who he was. Yeah. Whereas with Jesse, it was a completely different ball game. Um, survival it was survival for him. Yeah, and it was very organized. So here's Dan's website. You you guys have written countless books now about this. It is, um, I, I read through a bunch of your books. Like, it is unbelievable, the stuff that you guys have found. And I also want to, I also, another thing I want to get to in this episode is how this has impacted you guys emotionally as well, like your own personal lives. We can get to that at the end. So I guess... That's the story of Jesse James. Now, now let's go back to our modern times. How did you guys figure out, like, holy sh- yeah. are the grand, oh. great, great grandchildren of Jesse James? They wow. built, uh, they built their whole case around a sample of hair that uh, Stephen Caruso pulled out of his friend's head and a tooth that nobody knows the origins other than Steve, Stephen Caruso. Um, and they, that, they, that's a whole different story, which ties in other people on a national level, started. but we didn't, en- to- we didn't know enough to be paranoid at the time. But, um, uh, <laughs> these guys, uh, one day we walk in and David, the librarian told us, don't sign the register. 